Hey coaches, welcome back. This is uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to talk about uh, part two of building a playbook and PowerPoint, uh, or you could say Google Slides. Both are very similar, and I may do this one in slides, but uh, you can find uh, those two videos. Uh, I will link them in the description or have them linked in the video here at the end. So you can take a look at those two uh, videos. But today we're going to talk about how to draw plays in the draw menu. So it may be a little bit easier for you guys than actually trying to draw with shapes and all that good stuff. Or maybe you've drawn with shapes and now you just want to move people around with the, the draw menu uh, and uh, lines. And it's much easier also on a tablet if you're just wanting to quickly draw up a play for a coach and I'll and, or your phone, and I'll show you how to do all that here in a second. Uh, but before we uh, get into it, uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, that really helps me out with Google, especially if you subscribe and hit the notification bu button. Uh, it costs you nothing. Uh, it's free. Really helps me out to bring more uh, videos to you guys, free content over at CoachParker.org uh, to the youth football coaching community. Really appreciate your support. Uh, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe to get me to 5,000, that'd really be a huge help. Uh, again, thanks a lot. It's Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Now let's uh, jump into that. Like I said, we've had part one. We uh, used uh, the shapes to draw some formations and plays, and now we're actually going to use the actual draw menu. And uh, not sure if you remember how to, to, to put in a new slide, uh, but we go up here to the uh, new slide area here on the home, and we just drop down, and I want a title only. So I'm just going to say draw a play, if I can spell, and we can set that in there and then click out of it. And you can see how I can do slides. I can just click over there and it's a left click, click into the slide and I can pull those around like that. And so if you're on a tablet or a phone, this is really simple and there's other programs that do this uh, and uh, PowerPoint have just kind of added this recently, I think, or I found it recently. But I like this if I'm in a hurry and just want to draw something up real quick and not actually put it in a really uh, stylized format like something like this, I can come over here to this draw. Uh, like I said, this is really good on a tablet or a uh, touch screen. I don't have a touch screen here. I'm using my mouse, so it's not as good. But when I'm using my Chromebook or phone, this is great because I can just use my finger or I've got a, a touch pen and I can draw these up easily. Uh, so if you've got PowerPoint on your phone or your tablet, this is, this is a great way to, to kind of draw up some plays or if you get good with the mouse or you're just trying to do something in a hurry. So I like to go up here to this here and let's call it that thickness and I'm going to go black. And so I'm just going to come over here and I can draw up an even line here. So there I've got an even line. You see, I just, I just drew that up. It's much simpler than going through all the other things. And then I can draw a quarterback here. Let me draw a fullback, a tailback, and then let's put a wing back there. And so you've kind of got there. And then if you want to erase a guy, you just hit that. And you see how he erases. I can come back here. I'm going to put him over here. And so you can do that. And let's say, uh, I want to change colors uh, to red and I can just do that and I can change thickness uh, and I want to have this guy and this is my ball carrier sweep out okay so I know that's the ball carrier and that's in red and I'm gonna go back to black and do this and now I can draw so this guy's gonna come down block here He's going to block down, block down, block down. He's going to kind of block down, block down. Now let's say he does my little hinge block here like that. 
quarterback is going to come down the line. This guy's going to come through block. And then we've got the pitch here. And there we go. And so that was really quick to draw a play. And it didn't take a whole lot. So if you guys, you know, even an ugly playbook is better than a no playbook. So let's draw another play real quick. And I can just say, uh, I can click in here and say new slide. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come over here and click on the bottom. Say new slide. It brings me up a, a title here. Let's uh, escape out of that so I can I hit the escape button. So I can draw. I'm just going to type up new play drawing. That's what I'm going to title it. You can see I got a little spot there because I did that, but that's okay. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to hit that. And so I'm going to draw up. Now let's draw up. I'm going to draw an overloaded line and I'm going to go into this pie formation that I like to run. I'm going to get an under center. I've got this. And now let's say I put in two tailbacks here or two blocking backs, two big fullbacks. So I got that. But when I, and I'm going to run at this hole. And when I run at this hole, I like this tackle to be out. So I'm going to erase this tackle, go back to draw, and that tackle is going to come back. And this is uh, like pi, what, uh, one, three, five, seven, pi, 27 power. You can see I can get pretty good doing that. So that's pretty close. And so when I do that, they split block. He's going to split out, split, split, split. He's going to come down. He's going to hinge here. This guy's just going to come here and boot out, block back side. These guys are going to come through, pick up any bad guys. And then again, uh, I've got my guy here and he's going to come through. I want a little bit thicker line than that. I'm going to come back over here, picking him up and come through. And there's that play just using that little uh, draw program and, uh, very quick, uh, and it's even quicker when you can use your finger on a tablet or if you've got a touch screen at your home or uh, on your phone. And uh, actually there's a program called Sketch. It's by Sony that's an app, and I think it's on Android and iPhone. I use that a lot and also Google Keep, uh, which I'll show you that in a, another video on how to use those to draw a plays. But let me show you something also Let's say you've already got, let's say, and I'm going to click out of that and let's hit the escape button so I know I'm out of draw and so I can come back over here and I'm going to hit duplicate here. And let's say I've just, I've got some form formation templates and we'll call this my formation template for this one here. And I've got, and I can just duplicate those as I can come over here and right click. I can just keep duplicating and let's say, you know, I've set up my template here and I like to draw in all my stuff so I can just come over to draw go to black and go to that size pen and then I can just draw on my template here you see and that way maybe I set up a nice template like this and I'm gonna use this pen since it's already in red and it's got this and I can hit him and come through so you have a, a good combination of both things you've got a template of what your formation is and then you can come in here and quickly draw up plays instead of trying to use all the shape tools um, and make those all pretty you can do that with kind of a draw and it's a lot faster and like I said a dirty playbook is better than a no playbook so this is one way you can develop a quick playbook and it uh, not be as pretty as the shapes. Let me show you something else too that I like to do. And I've done this uh, so I can bring in some plays that I like. So let's go to a new slide and I'm going to hit the escape button so I can come up in here and just say a cut and paste. And I'll use my own site so I don't get any... Uh, kind of copyright issues because I use this stuff for myself personally. So let's say you found a play on the internet and let's say maybe you found a play over here at coachparker.org that you like and you can come down here. It's like, oh, 
Um, I like this play here. So there's a tool, and I'm not sure on Apple, but I'm sure they've got to have one. There's a little snippet tool that you can come over here. But I'm going to say new, and I'm going to snip it. And then I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to call it demo play. Demo play one. So I'm going to save it here. Click out of that. Then I'm going to come back to, so I saved it over there, cut it, paste it. And there may be a quicker way than that, but I'm going to make sure I escape it. I'm going to come over here, insert from this device, from this device. And then there it is in that folder. You just got to find it and you can bring that play over and you've got, it's going to try to do that. I'm going to snap out of that. So here's a play that you like. You can come back to draw and let's take, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to put everything in this uh, red color and say, okay, this is good. I like this or whatever. And you can write, you know, make some notes if you're on your tablet. But this is one way, or you can not even bring anything in and just say, don't do any of that. Let me get out of that, click out that. And you could just pull that in and say, oh, that's a uh, double wing two mo 38 double reverse. And so you can make up a quick, kind of a quick little playbook by pulling in plays that you found all over the internet and putting them in here like that. And if you're using them for your own personal use and not just throwing them out there, that's not kind of a bad idea. And, and if you just want to throw them in here, let's say, okay, I'm going to put this one here and then let me see. And you may want to do this as a reference. And then you can come over here and hit the tools and say, okay, I'm going to draw this one out for me and how I want. And I don't want it exactly the same. Um, that doesn't really go there. And because I want to be in, in a spread versus shotgun. And here it is. And I don't like the numbering here because this may be my four and this is two and this is three and this is one. Okay, and so you've got that, and you've got the, uh, let's see, you've got the four guy coming in, and he's around, um, and then let's say this two back is going to come down here and block, or this, yeah, this three back here, and let's say, uh, I don't know, he spins out and this guy takes it because or this guy takes it the two now let's say the two is actually the runner because there's a handoff here versus that so it's a little bit it's a little bit different say okay i adjusted the play i like it like that or you've got endless possibilities on kind of how to uh, particularly adjust that play there and so that's a couple of things that you can do with the draw tools and kind of inserting a play you've got the original play down here you're kind of playing with it here and understanding how maybe you want to use it or not use it, but that's some of the things uh, that you can do there uh, like that to set those up. So I, I hope uh, that you like how we've used the draw tool today in PowerPoint with the draw menu and some cut and paste and insert uh, pictures um, in there and how that works so you can see uh, how all that's working there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, before uh, we click out, please subscribe, like, and comment. That really helps me out with Google. Uh, as always, you can head over to coachparker.org and find my Beast Playbook, the Pirate 6 2 by 8 Defense, the Wildcat Spread, my Drill Book, uh, let's see, I got a 7 on 7 book over there, and I got an 8 man beast book and some uh, offensive line practice things. So you can head over there and check that out over at coachparker.org. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Ciao. See you guys next time.